Hey guys, what's up? It's Paladin. I've decided to um not rage and be just completely insane and yell at my phone trying to express 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 my personal opinions on a certain subject. Let me put down my phone now so I'm not uh there we go phone. Um so before I made a video um, well, I was working on a video of me getting severely angry and irritated and explaining my reasonings, um, not reasonings, opinions on people that hate Call of Duty. I was yelling a lot and I was flipping shit and, uh, I've decided to not do that. I actually deleted the video. I'm not going to give people the satisfaction of, uh, hearing me angry as funny as it may have been. Because I'm going to do this in a calmly, timely manner. And I'm going to not flip out on the phone. So, in a calm, relaxing voice, <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about uh, certain things that kind of really irritate me about um, just people in general on the internet. Um, it, it's become apparent to me that people seem to hate things just to hate them. And whenever something new gets released of that... They hate on it more. Not even, you know, reading about it, not giving any fe not looking into the time into it. They simply don't like it and constantly go on every little thing, uh, every little form, uh, video, informational article or whatever, and post their comments below explaining why it sucks or just simply saying it sucks. And when they explain it sucks, by the way, it's nothing logical. It's just things that they didn't like about the previous title or, um, thing or whatever they were getting mad about, um, that they're trying to say that's in this one. The point is, um, what I'm talking about is Call of Duty Ghosts. You'll probably notice that because there'll probably be a thumbnail showing ghosts and everything else. But anyways, this isn't just about Call of Duty Ghosts, however. This is about every game that has a yearly, um release, such as maybe, it's slowly becoming like it, so, uh, but I'll name a couple, um, and the one that's slowly becoming like it is Halo, um, there's AC4, uh, I, th I'm not sure, I think Batman Arkham or didn't City come out last year and Origins came out this year? I'm pretty sure that's what happened, yeah, I think so, I believe so, I'm, like, almost 98% sure, <laughs> um, let me think, uh, just, it's not even, actually, you know what, yeah, it's not even really series that have a repetition of coming out every single year, it's just series that are really popular that use what I like to call the phrase, if it's not broken, don't fix it. What I'm saying by this is that every year, the uh, every year or every couple of years, a game comes out and there are minor changes to the game, um, and there's like a new campaign. And maybe a new mode or two. This is what Call of Duty generally usually does. Um, now, is this a bad thing? It's not really a bad thing. Because if it's not broken, and you don't fix it, and it's, and it's successful, which Call of Duty sells millions of titles, or millions of titles, millions of copies every single year, because fans seem to enjoy it, um, then I don't, you know... I don't see why they would have to change it too much. I mean, you can hate on Call of Duty all you want. It just simply doesn't change the fact that it's not going to change that much just by you hating on it. Um, what you could do in a timely, logical, not yelling at the company manner is send them an email and give them feedback. Or not even an email, but just give feedback in general in the forums or whatever. But no, people aren't smart enough to do that. So what they do is they go on a site, maybe like YouTube, they see a Call of Duty video has been posted, they'll just dislike it because of the title of the video, because the title of the video has Call of Duty in it, and they'll post a comment saying, Call of Duty sucks, it's the same thing every year. I didn't buy last year's game, I didn't buy the game before that, I bought Call of Duty 4 and I bought like World at War and then I stopped buying Call of Duty games because it was the same thing. So let me get this straight, you haven't played, like, four Call of Duties since 
then and you think it's the same thing over and over again. Granted, Call of Duty, again, I say, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Granted, Call of Duty does barely change over the years. However, um, to be completely honest, people, if it was the exact same game every single year, people wouldn't buy it. It's a simple fact. They wouldn't spend another $60 on it. The campaign's different. They add new modes. They add new guns. They add new perks. They change up score streaks and kill streaks and whatever. They put new ones in. They take out old ones. They got rid of death streaks. They put in death streaks. They take out death streaks again. <laughs> the, uh, you know, a mode or two might be gone. The way the mechanics work in the game might be different. You know, balancing might be different between the guns. The game might be smoother. It might be faster paced. Things like that people care about. Whether you don't or not is your opinion. However, there are other people that enjoy the game simply because of minor changes such as that. Hell, I bought WWE 2K14 because I loved all the minor changes to the game that really impacted the game if you think about it because they made a lot of gameplay changes that were necessary that weren't in WWE 13. I mean, you know, actually, yeah, that's another thing, like wrestling games, sports games. You know, you hate on Call of Duty, but you buy Madden every single fucking year. What does Madden offer for you? New characters, when I say characters, I mean roster, a new roster, um, and a couple extra modes, and new play-by-plays. Ooh. Now, you can enjoy your sports, but hey, all of this is also my opinion. So if you want to go ahead and tell me what's so much different in Madden 25 compared to Madden 13, or was it 12, whatever the last one was, then go ahead. Try and tell me what's different about the game compared to last year's game. Now, maybe Madden 25 does have a lot because it's like 25th anniversary or whatever. Maybe Madden 25 does have a lot. Um... But, you know, because it's the 25th anniversary and yada, yada, yada. However, this is the same case, with, uh, same case with Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts has added in not just simply game modes um, and, like, new guns and a new campaign. It has those three things. However, it has gameplay mechanics that have been changed. There's more balancing. Um... Extinction is a new mode that was added that's pretty much like zombies, only it's, you know, with aliens, and you actually have objectives in the game, and there's a bunch of other things you can do inside the game type that zombies doesn't have. Um, and, you know, it's funny, Call of Duty Ghosts got an 8 out of 10, right? Call of Duty usually gets what every single year? A 9 or higher, correct? There are people that go on the video and dislike it and still say 8 is too high of a score. Shouldn't you be happy that it got an 8? That it's not a 9? That it's not so quote-unquote ridiculously high as some people say 9s are? You know, it's it's insane. It finally gets a lower score and people aren't happy. What do you want it? You want it, you want it to have a 6? People, what people don't understand is this game was worked on for, for 3 years straight. People work their asses off to make these video games. What? You want them to make the video game and then fucking realize, you know, make, you know, you want them to work on a video game for three years straight, put their time and heart and effort into the video game, you know, to appease fans because the game is popular and just continue to make the series to keep making fans happy and you want them to get a bad rating just because you personally have issues with the game? You, one person, have issues with the game? Now, let's be honest here. There are a lot of people that hate Call of Duty, but there are more people that probably love Call of Duty than hate it. Now, it doesn't appear that way on YouTube because everybody and their mother, you know, goes ahead and dislikes Call of Duty on YouTube. But anyways, um, don't just comment and say... It sucks. Give logical reasons of why it sucks. And don't just say, it's the same thing every year. And by the way, I didn't... I haven't bought Call of Duty since MW2. Does that... does That doesn't help your own... You know... You haven't played, like, three Call... You're missing out on, like, three Call of Duty games right there. And you're trying to say that it's the same thing. Maybe it's not the same thing, you know? Maybe it's not. By the way, Call of Duty Ghost has dedicated servers, something that's also new in the game. 
There's a lot of things that are new in Call of Duty Ghosts. For example, the maps, which are pretty fucking huge, and there's map destruction. Um, you know, the game doesn't look the same, by the way. Everybody's complaining, oh, it looks exactly the same. Well, my, uh... My, uh, the, the computer specs, the list for Call of Duty Ghosts, like, would like to disagree with you. The computer specs for Ghosts on the PC is so much higher than Black Ops 2, and, uh, <laughs> it's, it's funny, like, man, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, in my opinion, looks like Battlefield 3 on, like, medium settings, maybe high every now and then, uh, when it's completely maxed out on computer, not on consoles, by the way, I'm... Call of Duty Ghosts on 360 and PlayStation 3 looks like Black Ops 2. Yeah, that looks the same because it's older hardware. On the PlayStation 4, I'm not going to say the Xbox One because the Xbox One runs it at 720p. But um, on the PlayStation 4, um, you know, it looks a lot better than previous gen consoles. And then on the PC, it looks even better than the, PC, uh, than the PlayStation 4, but that's a little obvious. Um, the PC is is upgradable you can constantly upgrade your own hardware if you want to to make it better and better so i mean yeah um but yeah dude to be completely honest on the pc when ghost is maxed out all the way it looks like battlefield 3 and now you're like oh battlefield 3 that game came out like a couple years ago and and it's an older game and battlefield 4 looks so much better well, first of all, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 look only a little bit different in terms of graphics because the game already looked great in Battlefield 3. I don't see how much you can improve that much by. Um, and secondly, in terms of graphics, I mean. But anyways, and secondly, um, <laughs> Battlefield 3 still looks amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. You're high if you think that Battlefield 3 on the PC completely maxed out doesn't look great. I'm sorry, it does. Hey, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. The game's like two or three years old, and it still looks amazing, and it probably will continue to look amazing for the next, like, three years, maybe five years, to be honest, because Battlefield 3 was literally the game, was literally the shocker. Everybody saw Battlefield 3 and was like, holy shit, this looks so realistic. That was pretty much everybody's reaction to Battlefield 3. Um, but yeah... Uh, I forgot to tap my phone because it has a screen timer, timer. Which I'm actually going to probably um, turn off simply for the fact that uh, I'm having the hardest time ever trying to unlock my phone right now. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're in, we're 12 minutes 48 seconds in. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion on it, man. And and here's my final thing I have to say. If you don't like Call of Duty Ghosts. If you don't like Battlefield, if you don't like Halo, Gears of War, um, whatever other game, Assassin's Creed, and you, and you keep buying the games, and simply just to keep complaining about them, about how you don't like them, or if you don't buy the game, and you simply, and you just keep complaining about the game, just don't buy the game, man. You have your hard-earned money, and you don't like the game... Just don't buy it. Don't, but however, when you don't buy that game, don't go on other freaking videos saying, oh, Call of Duty sucks. Call of Duty Ghost sucks. I didn't buy the game, but it sucks. Do you see, do you see how stupid you sound? Do you see how stupid you sound when, like, that, that's said? Oh, I hate Call of Duty Ghosts. And then someone asks you, do you have the game? And then you say no. Do you not, do you see, do you not see... How much of a retard you sound. You don't own the game, yet you think it's stupid and you hate it for retarded reasons because you don't own the game. So how exactly can you say that it sucks if you haven't played it before? Anyways. <laughs> Man, that is just... If you think... The same thing applies, you know, to Battlefield and all that other shit. Oh, Assassin's Creed 4 sucks. Battlefield 4 sucks. Don't buy the game then. There's your clear fucking answer right there. Just don't go on every last video explaining why it sucks and then you not owning the game and then the person that you commented on ignores you because you've never played the game before and they still buy the game and actually probably enjoy the game because you don't own the game and you didn't give a proper reply or response to the person because you don't own the game so you can't do that in the first place. Anyhow... Um, I did get a little bit louder in this video, 
because it is very nerve wracking, but I didn't scream and yell like I did in the previous video that I was going to make. But anyways, that's just my opinion on it, man. Uh, play whatever's fun to you. Don't complain. Just play a different game and let bygones be got bygones, man. All I'm asking is that you don't comment on dislike every last video just because you hated, like, MW2 and you haven't bought a Call of Duty since then. And, you know, or maybe you, ha you bought, like, Battlefield 2 and you think Battlefield 3 and 4 suck because they're not the same as Battlefield 2, but they're, like, the same thing anyways, which doesn't make logical fucking sense. But anyways, that's my opinion on it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, guys. And remember, stay sexy. Peace.